Welcome pupils, parents and carers of our Chilton Academy family. As it's the end of half term, rather than sending a newsletter, I thought I'd do a video. It was lovely this morning to see lots of pupils logged in to a live form time, speaking to their form tutors and being able to see their friends from their form groups for the first time in many months. I'd just like to say a really big thank you to pupils for your engagement over the last half term with remote learning and the quality of the work that's being submitted by lots of you. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'm also aware that the quality of the lessons that the teachers are preparing and delivered has also improved significantly as well. So a really big thank you for everyone for that hard work. It's so important that when we come back after half term, that we keep that engagement going and we keep working hard and we keep trying our best. I have given some updates in previous Heads newsletters about recruitment to the school ready for September next year. I'm really pleased to say we've got some really exciting appointments. So we've got a new Head of Maths, a new Head of English and a new Head of Performing Arts and they are all starting after Easter. We've also appointed a Lead Practitioner for Maths uh, we've appointed a Head of Computer Science and Business. We've appointed a new Head of Year and we've appointed a number of subject teachers in Science, in English, in Humanities uh, and in French as well. So we're really looking forward to them starting um, and beginning to shape our education as we move forward into GCSEs and beyond. In terms of our remote learning at the moment, um, as I said, the pupils have been working really hard and I know staff have been giving out lots of rewards, lots of ones and twos and lots of golden tickets because of the effort that we're putting in. It's really important that your engagement should be at least, at the very least, above 50%, if not higher. There are lots of pupils who are up in the 70s and 80%. It's really important so you don't fall further behind. Um, so when you come back in March, we can hopefully get you back up on track straight away. Saying that, we hope you'll be back in March. As we know, the government have initially said that March the 8th is the day for pupils to return to school. We are waiting for a, uh, an announcement um, in the middle of February, um, possibly during the half term break, when we'll find out more about the exact details about which pupils will be coming back and uh, when they'll be coming back. We do hope that we can get all pupils back on March the 8th and into classrooms and into some more formal lessons. Next week is obviously half term. And what I'd really like you and your parents to do over half term is to take a break away from your screens. I'd love you to go out and find a nice walk and use year seven pupils who did our Chilton Challenge. Maybe you could take your parents on that because that's local and you can do that from home. I'd like to go and maybe be creative, do some painting, do some art, um, draw your family, draw your friends, um, draw pictures of Flynn, maybe do some cooking, some baking, just anything to get us away from our screens for a period of time and to really refresh and have a break uh, and do something a bit different. I know you can't go into the park and play football with your friends or meet up and, and go to town. We know that, okay, and we do appreciate that's difficult, but please try and do something different away from your screens as much as you can. Last night, we had a governor's meeting, and I'd really like to say a huge thank you to our governors. Our governors uh, are very supportive, but they're also challenging as well, and they do ask some, some difficult questions, which is good, because that's what they're there for but they're so appreciative of everything that the staff do and they're so appreciative of the engagement from pupils and families and the support that you give to the school as well. I'd like to finish this short video by just wishing you all a really, really um, restful and happy half term. And please, when we get back to learning in a week's time, make sure we're doing our best and doing all that we can. If you have any concerns, any problems or need any support, please contact the school and we'll help you as much as we can. Have a good half term. Thank you.